39,680. Correct! Question number two, what is the average of 8,920? 1, 2, 3, and 75. Rich Dixon! 1,900.2. Correct! Question number three, convert 78 kilometers into miles. Rich Dixon! 30 f***ing miles! Correct! Question number four, August 26, 2000, fell on what day? Rich Dixon! Uh, Saturday! Well played! Before we continue, let's get to know our contestants. Mr. Steve Chestnuts, tell us about yourself. Well, I studied at Cambridge and I'm getting my doctorate in arts and literature and I'm an engineer. That is truly inequitable. Rich Dixon, tell us about yourself. I just had this weird vision that Mother Mary said to me, you know, you are Elvis and Jesus. Intriguing but disturbing and yet intriguing. Our next subject. Subject number two, pedantic attention to literature. Question number one, what is the opening line to part one of Cervantes' Don Quixote? Snaker Chazots! In a village of La Mancha, the name of which I have no desire to recall. Correct! Question number two, name three short stories by Aldous Huxley. Snaker Chazots! Limbo, Mortal Coils, and Little Mexican. Correct! Question number three, Greek lyric poetry, I say the verse, the love god with his golden curls. You say... Rich Dixon! And I cry on Correct! Question number four. Alphabetize the letter to the name Walt Whitman. Steve Chestnuts! A-A-H-I-L-M-N-T-T-W-W. Correct! Subject number three. Linguistic idiom. Question number one. Say the word comb in two European and three Asian-based languages. Steve Chestnuts! Il patine, obente, did, we, shoot. Correct! Question number two, respond in Japanese when I say, Hello, Chen's Kisha House of Fine Women! Rich Dixon! Yoyaku! Onigai! Shimas! Run! Godzilla! Correct! Question number three, rearrange the letters in the Chinese word Ming Zanga to form three English words. Rich Dixon! I became gain in Maine. Correct! Question number four, phonetically say these words backwards in Arabic. Farm, earth, and year. Liqua Hydrala Alnas. Correct! Question number five. I say, excuse me, name two countries his language is native in. Steve Chestnuts. France and Belgium. Correct! Subject number four. Historical significance in prelude. Question number one. Name the 29th president of the United States and create a cryptogram for the name of a state that became the Bishop of Milan in 374 AD. Rich Dixon! Harding and Ambrose! Um. Correct! Question number two. Spell the last name of the vice president that served under Zachary Taylor backwards. Steve Chestnuts! E-R-O-M-L-L-I-F. Correct! Question number three. Who is the king of Babylon from 1792 to 1750 BC? Rich Dixon! Uh, Hamurabai! Correct! Question number four. Who was the first Russian ruler to take the title of Tsar? Rich Dixon! I've been great! Correct! So 
Subject number five, global macrocosm and earthly government. Question number one, spell the capital of Ethiopia backwards. A B E B A S I D A. Correct! Question number two, name three cities in Alberta. Rix Dixon. That would be Edmonton, Calgary, and uh, Lethbridge. Yeah. Correct! Question number three, and the area in square kilometers of Scotland to the square kilometers of Botswana. Rix Dixon. 659,167. Correct! Question number four, if I was in Safi, what country would I be in? Rich Dixon! Morocco? Correct! Subject number six, scientific discipline and procedure. Question number one, what is the scientific name for black IP? Steve Jostlots. Vinya Senesis. Correct! Question number two, name the principle where pressure applied to an enclosed incompressible static fluid is transmitted undiminished to all parts of the fluid! Rich Dixon! Pascal's principles. Correct! Question number three, what element comes after Einsteinium on the periodic table of elements? Rich Dixon! Fermium! Correct! Question number four, what is the term for the finger-like extensions from an amoeboid cell? Steven Chestnuts! Pseudopodia. I say pseudopodia. Let's forget the whole damn thing. Correct! Question number five, name three things invented in 1947. Transistors, holograms, Mobile phones. Steve Chestnuts, you are a winner of our sixth subject. Please pick a number between 1 and 100 to determine the seventh subject. Well, I choose the sexiest number, number 73. Number 73, the subject is black exploitation. <laughs> Question number one, name three films Rudy Ray Moore stars in without Dolomite in the title. Rich Jackson. I said, Whoa. I said Disco Godfather and Peter Lynch. Correct! Question number two, name both titles for the 1977 Frank Packard film starring Tobar Mayo. Which Dixon? Avar, the first black Superman, and In Your Face. Correct! Question number three, name three artists who performed in the concert film Watt Stacks. Steve Chestnuts! Isaac Hayes, Rufus Thomas, and the Staple Singers. Correct! Question number four, name the first two Jamal Fanaka films and their alternate titles. Rich Dixon! Welcome in, Brother Charles, also known as Soul Vengeance. <laughs> and I'm a man, also known as Black Sister's Revenge. Correct! Congratulations, Rich Dixon! You are a genius! Stephen Chestnuts, for your non-genius performance today, I reward you with the necessary literature to enter your library. How to study for tests by Meg F. Schneider. Whoever for his demonstration of being a true genius, I hereby reward Rich Dixon with a copy of Freckle Juice by Judy Blume. You have just witnessed the Genius Quiz Show. See you soon! I want to add it. Okay, okay. Off the block. Yes. In five minutes.